And now for our application. As you can see, today we are adding one one hundredth. And that one one hundredth right here, this square right here, represents this square right here. I'm doing it a little bit differently today, so you get a different, it's not the same old, same old. And so if I'm adding one one hundredth to 29 hundredths, I'm getting 30 one hundredths. Now just taking this, let's remember that each row here, each row has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if I have 10 one hundredths in each one of these rows, then that means that out of 100, I have 10 full rows. Can you visualize that? And so when I change this to instead of 100, I'm changing it to 10 rows. It's what I'm doing here when I have the denominator of 100 and I'm dividing by 10. In other words, I'm chunking, grouping 10 into 1. So I'm dividing by 10 and I get 10 as my new denominator. Do you see that? This 100, all these 100 pieces, when I group them, divide them by 10 or group them in 10s, I'm left with 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. On whatever I do to the denominator, I've got to do the numerator. And up here, I have 30. But whatever I do to the bottom, you know, I've got to do the top. And 30 divided by 10 is 3. So what this would look like is it would be, well, look over here. I have 1, 2, 3 rows out of the 10 rows. Isn't that cool? And so that's why when I wrote up here, three tenths is because I knew I could already, once there was a zero, any zeros after the number in the place value, it, it, it's, it's not necessary. On your SBAC test, they might have as an answer where you came up with decimal point three zero, they may have as an answer decimal point three. And because of this lesson, you will now know why. Uh, very exciting day. I always love when it's divisible by 10. I don't know if it's because it's easy in math to, to put the groups or this is where kids, and maybe it's happened to you too, you really start visualizing the simplification of fractions by dividing by or by grouping. This is usually where, uh, as long as you've been following along since the beginning of the school, I'm like, it's been 30 days. And um, it usually takes a while until you really can start understanding the idea of fractions, percents, and decimals. Um, what, a, what a great day 30 is. Can you predict what day is going to be my next favorite day? Hmm. Maybe put that in the comments of our Google document. Just write the, the, a number or the fraction of what do you think my next favorite day is going to be?